I've heard that it'll be cold, but I didn't think that it'll be this cold. It's very different from the royal capital for sure. The train will arrive in the northern region, the main residence of my new employer. The new place where I will work as a home tutor. I wonder what will be my student be like. If only I haven't failed the exam of being a court magician. Then I won't be getting this job. Why do I have to be so stupid? There's no need to be crying over spilled milk. I just have to make sure to make the Duke's daughter to like me and eventually recommend me to be a court's magician. I hope she's okay and friendly. I can do this. I'll do this. I must do this. My career and future is in line for this. Yes, that would be me. Yes, I'm the hired tutor for the Duke's daughter. Oh, please, it's okay. I can't bring it myself. Oh, so you are the miss that I will be teaching. Nice to meet you. I will be in your care from now on, and I hope that I can help you in more ways possible. This is my first time going to the residence of a duke and the northern part of the kingdom. It sure snows here a lot. It's very different in the capital. I'm really not used to it. Ah, yes, miss. I'm very warm for sure. I brought a lot of warm clothes. That being said, I'm surprised that you could recognize me. I don't think that I have my unique traits. What do you mean by that? Oh, I see. So my master has been talking a lot about my embarrassing and hilarious stories, hasn't he? Wait, 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 I mean, the miss might hate to sit near a man she just met. We all should be able to fit if we huddled, so... Of course not. Although I don't think being near me is comfortable. But if the miss is okay being near me... Then, please, if I could escort you to the carriage. Are you a little uncomfortable, miss? I'm sorry, but can I use a little bit of magic? A little bit of temperature manipulation. It looks like you're a little bit cold, miss. It's not the flashy kind of magic, but... Just a little bit of a trick. Ah. 
Is the temperature more bearable, miss? That's good to know. Just let me know if it gets a little bit too hot. <laughs> Thank you very much for making the trip and making the time to pick me up. Thank you very much again. Miss, are you having a hard time to get out? Let me help you. Don't squirm or you'll fall. And you're not heavy, so don't worry about it. Um, miss, are you angry with me for suddenly lifting you? Was I rude? If I was, I am very sorry, and I hope you understand that I didn't do it to make you feel uncomfortable. I'll just have to take my things in my room and get myself to unload some of my stuff. And how about we properly start our training tomorrow? I think you will know the magician's tower and castle, right? Then, I'll wait for you there. And please let me know if there is something that you want to learn from me. Like for example, potion making. Or the level of magic that you want to learn. Anything under the sun, as long as it is not of black magic. I'll teach you as much as I can. I promise you that. You just have to follow my instructions and be very focused in learning things. But looking at you right now, I can sense a great mana flowing in you. So, teaching you wouldn't be hard for sure. Well then, I hope to see you tomorrow, miss. And I hope you look forward to tomorrow. Looks like the princess had a good sleep last night. Maybe I should have put some monsters in your bedroom, so you won't be having this glow around you. Your glow is too blinding for a lowly mage like me. It's too much, like I'm being punished. <laughs> I'm just kidding, dear princess. You are radiantly beautiful as always, and your smiling so lovely makes my heart warm. So tell me. Why are you so happy this time of day? If you would let a lovely magician like me know about it, I don't mind hearing it from you. I love a little gossip. You know, think of me as a friend. I won't judge you or anything. Oh, are you that excited to learn magic? Why? I'm really curious why you want to learn magic so much. You want to learn because you know you will need it in the future. Hmm. It looks like aside from the great mana flowing inside you. If my presumption is correct, and correct me if I'm wrong, dear princess. You can see the future, right? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Looks like I hit the right answer. So tell me, dear princess. What did you see in the future? That makes you so eager to learn magic. Princess? Don't be afraid, it's only me and you here. As your tutor in magic, 
I want to know what your intention is, so I can assure that you won't be using magic beyond what you are allowed to. Princess, what did you see? Was it horrible? It must be. You're trembling so bad, princess. Huh? Oh, you saw your father die, and you want to prevent it. What can I do to make that happen? Potion and magic. Then, what are we waiting for? In your vision, did it give you a clue in what kind of disease your father will get? Nothing. He just incurred a terrible sickness. Hmm. Then, let's do some potions that would improve your strength and your father's health. Are you ready now? Are you sure? Then, how about you smile for me? Your glow suddenly faded away when you talk about what the future has unfolded for you. So please, can you smile for me? Ah, there's a lovely smile. So, how about we start for good? Hey, what are you doing? You're spacing out too much for the day. I have been talking and talking nonstop here about magic and potions, and you are not even looking at me. What if you got hurt? What will your father tell me? That I'm actually letting his only daughter, the princess, do reckless things? I made a promise that I will keep you in my care, as long as I take care of you. And I know that I promise you that I will be helping you with your father's health and to prevent the future from happening. But as much as I want to help you, I don't want you to get hurt in the process. Ugh. Please don't be like that. Please don't cry. I don't want you to cry. And it's not my intention to make you cry. Now, if you would just put your mind on the game. I mean, this is your father's help. Am I correct? It would hardly help you learn more things about magic that you want, right? Then, please, get your head in the lecture right now. Cheer up. I know the future is bothering you, but you can't be stressing out on things that are not happening yet. It would only spoil the present. So... Can you give me a smile instead of that poppy eyes of yours? Please? Can you? No? No? Yes. Yes. Ah, oh, that's the smile I want to say. Good girl. I like you better when you are smiling. Now, can we go focus on this? Do you want to know magic, right? Good. That's the answer I like. So stop pouting. Or else I'll get so distracted. It makes me want to tease you more. <laughs> 
<laughs> you are blushing so hard. I could see how beat red your ears are. Ah. You even smell so sweet. Did your mates help you get ready today? If you present yourself to me like that, inviting me with open arms. Without any hesitation, I would take you here right now. The way you look so beautiful early in the morning makes me admire you more. You really trigger the beast inside me when you look so heavenly. Should we call today's lecture off or not? What do you think? No. Then, mix this potion well, so I can judge if we can really make a good one. Yes, just add all the ingredients. Stir it real, real good. That's good. You're doing it well. Make the potion as good as you do me. <laughs> Just suddenly insert your fingers in the potion. Oh, I like that. Make sure to check the temperature of the potion. Oh, don't worry. The potion won't cut off your finger. It won't hurt you. I just want you to know that a potion you're making. I'll drink it. To personally check if you did a good job. Oh, don't get too stiff, darling. That potion won't hurt me. I'll just want to test it myself and know if you are really followed my instructions. Now, focus on what you are doing. Stop with hesitation. It won't do you good. If you want to be a good mage like me, you have to trust the process. That's a good girl. I like it when you submit yourself to me willingly. I don't want the king to think that I'm not doing a good job. And also, I don't want the king to know that I'm being lovey-dovey with you. He might not want to know that kind of intimate details. Don't you agree? Now breathe in. Enchant your magic words. Remember, the powerful incantation is from the heart. Believe in yourself. And your magic will be overflowing. Now say your words. Yes, just like that. You are doing good. Oh. Perfect. See, I told you that you can't make it. 
You just have to believe in yourself. Now, it's time to have a taste. Let's see if you're perfect at the potion. Thank you for the drink. Oh. Do you know what kind of potion I made you make for me? Do you want to know? Aren't you curious? Really? Not at all. Well, let me come closer to you. You feel it, right? Why are you ignoring the fact that I'm very much turned on right now? So, can't you guess what kind of potion is it? Don't be shy. Come on, I know that you know. Shy about it. Oh, correct. It's an aphrodisiac. <laughs> Shoot. Looks like you made it a little stronger. I'm really hot right now. Can I kiss you? I want your consent before I do anything. Yes. Good girl. Come here and let me bite that lit. I've been dying to do it so much. <sighs> How can it be so addicting? How can I get enough of you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 